first print with it cracking. Oh, we have one extruder and uh, one hot end hooked up right now. We do have the water cooling system working. It stays quite cool. And it's extremely quiet. Very, very impressed with the uh, water cooling. It's a lot less complicated than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you can see that the wiring is going to be a bit of a headache. But I think I have it sorted when you get all four of the boating tubes hooked up, going to their respective uh, extruders. Um, you can run the cable and ride up those. I've got things set up so I can use a wiring harness, uh, two pairs of wiring harnesses, one on each side, the left and the right. Um, so as I'm looking at it right now towards my, my Z tower, um, that will be my left and, and my right. <clears throat> so I think I have things kind of paired there. And you can see the um, the uh, threaded thermistors sticking out the side there. The connectors for them anyway. Right now, I have the other three hot ends uh, raised up off of the uh, off of the, um, the bed a little bit, so they don't rub into uh, the bars up front me. Um, next step, I'll go ahead and calibrate the Z height to all four of those, even though they're not hooked up, just to see how that goes. And I've already got my second extruder right up there, ready to go. Um, just need to put in the wiring. Once I have the second head hooked in um, and get that operational, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, and hook up my new um, my new controller board, uh, the Aztig uh, A3 Pro, X3 Pro, which can have all four extruders and hot ends. Should be pretty cool. This is looking pretty good. Let's see, I'm printing on uh, my new favorite surface, PEI. I love this stuff. Um, as you can see, it's just putting down a nice bead. Okay, I'll let this go. We'll come back later.